Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. Whenever I call your name, you make a way. Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. Oh, the Lord has done for me. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. Oh, the Lord has done for me. He shall be permanent. Your enemies are in trouble today. beloved hello children of god good to see you today thank you so much for clicking to this episode again i'm so so excited to have you here i hope and trust that god has kept you and you're where you're watching me from and i thank god for your presence here today my returning subscribers welcome my new subscribers welcome thank you so much for always coming back here to support me to support this ministry i don't take it for granted and i want to basically thank you so much for the overwhelming support you showed me on the last video i did on this platform on sexual immorality thank you for the views thank you so much the video went viral and i'm so excited and it's just by the grace of god i return all glory and honor to god because i said in that video i want god to use me as a vessel and just to pass that message and indeed god used me as a vessel and thank you so much for supporting this ministry and my prayer to you today is that even in your own need may god meet you today in your own need everywhere anywhere you're trusting god to give you a breakthrough if you're trusting god for healing you're trusting god for a, a miracle job you're trusting god for a breakthrough then my prayer to you today is that may god meet you at your most point of need and, and if you're new here you've just come across this beautiful family welcome to the channel my name is Rose I share faith-based content I motivate you I inspire you and also share the Word of God so if this is your area of interest and you like this kind of content then I'm going to encourage you to please proceed and support me by subscribing to this content down below here and put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video you're always among the first people to be notified and thank you so much for being here and i'm going to encourage you today to stay up to the end of this message because today we are going to scatter our enemies to the glory and honor of god so breath friends let's go straight to our message today and today i want to teach you how to scatter your enemies i did a video on this platform about household enemies and i also taught you how to identify household enemies and in this video today i want to teach you by the help of the holy spirit on how to scatter those enemies how to scatter your enemies in your life and i've taught you before on this platform is very ignorant when you ignore and say that there are no enemies trust me life is spiritual and you have to look at life in a spiritual way if you look at life in a physical way, you're going to miss it. So you have to be spiritual all the time and know the battles you're fighting. It's very important for you to identify the battle you're fighting. Don't just fight unknown battles. And some battles, they're not supposed to be fought. You know, don't avail yourself to fight every battle that comes on your way. You fight those battles. But you need to recognize that there are enemies in your life. If you are that person that is experiencing delays in your life, your life is moving in a circle. Your life is just like this, you know. There is no progress in your life. There is a lot of stagnation in your life. Anytime you are about to experience a breakthrough, something just happens in your life. And you can't explain the natural life, you know, you just... I start telling people that it just happened. I almost got the job and I missed that job. You know, I almost got that miracle and I missed that miracle. Brethren, it is not normal. Those are spirits fighting you and I've told you those spirits are within us. 
And sometimes, let me shock you, the enemies that are fighting you, they're not coming from far. They're just within your circle, they're within you, people who know you very well. I call them household enemies. Uh, you know, so you need to identify those enemies and fight those enemies. And if you're that person who is experiencing the things I've just said, then you need a Psalm 35 in your life. In the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 36, the word of God tells us that a man's enemies are members of his own household. Deep set. Members of your own household. The people who know you very well. And people far away, they cannot fight you. Because they don't know your life, they don't know your past history, they don't know you, they don't know your upbringing. It's only people that who know you very well that are going to fight you, and I call them household enemies. If you have not watched that video, I'm going to encourage you, please go and watch that video on this platform. And I know that you're going to learn more from that video to the glory and honor of God. But today, I want to teach you how to fight them. Yes, you have identified them, you know them. You know, you know them, you know that they're fighting you. And sometimes you may not know that they're fighting you. And I want you to tell you today, most of the enemies that you know, there are very few. The enemies that you don't know, there are so many. The poor you laugh with, the poor you dine with, the poor you hang around with, the people you share your projects to, the people that you run to when you need help, you know, those are the people that I'm talking about. And I'm not saying that all of them are your enemies, but you need a spiritual eye. You need a spiritual mind. You need a discerning spirit, preference, for you to identify these people because they are within us. So today, I'm going to teach you how to fight them. And if you're that person who is always experiencing delays and those things that I mentioned are uh, before delays in your career, delays in your projects, you know, there's so much stagnation in your life, then you need a Psalm 35 in your life, trust me. So this verse is a game changer. You need it in your life. Wake up at midnight and fight back with Psalm 35. So today your enemy is in trouble. Tell your enemy right now, enemy, you are in trouble. Pack your things and go. And before even we proceed, I want you to talk to the enemy and tell your enemy anything that the devil has assigned in your life to pack his things right now and go because your enemy is in trouble. Your enemy is in trouble. So send fire to the enemy. Talk to the enemy and tell the enemy you are in trouble right now. Let me tell you a story. I came across Psalm 35 when I was experiencing a lot of uh, betrayal in my life. And this betrayal used to come from people I know very well, you know, my deep state, who were very close to me, uh, you know, and I was experiencing a lot of betrayal. And then I heard a preacher talk about Psalm 35. And the day I discovered this verse, it was a game changer. So it would be very selfish of me if I don't share uh, this game-changing verse to you. And I want to teach you how to pray this verse. Pray it with boldness. Pray it with faith. You know, pray it with assurance. Pray it with, with courage, you know. Pray this verse. Wake up at midnight and just declare this verse. And trust me, this verse is going to be a game-changer in your life and your enemy will always be in trouble. Your enemies will never sleep. Your enemies will never attack you again. Your enemies will never come near you and your home will be out of bounds from your enemies because this particular verse I'm going to teach you is a game changer. Anytime you experience attacks in your life and you know very well that your enemy fighting you, sometimes you may know, sometimes you may not know, but you need a Psalm 35 in your life and wake up at midnight and pray this verse. This verse should always be on your lips every now and then because you all know the world is cruel. People are fighting us. People that you know very well are fighting us. People that you don't know they are fighting us. They are fighting our projects. They are fighting our progress. You know, people are just fighting life. People are fighting other people. Brothers standing against 
their brothers you know people are just fighting other people and you need a shield and that shield today is psalms 35 so i'm going to read this verse and the lord avenger of his people verse 1 says plead my cause O lord with those who strive with me fight against those who fight against me take hold of shield and buckle and stand up for my help shout to the lord today and plead my cause oh lord with those who strive with me i want you to pray and tell god that fight against those who fight against me you know the kingdom of god suffers violence and it's only the violence are going to take it by force so you need to pray this verse with a lot of boldness and courage and tell god that fight against those who fight against me and take hold of shield and buckle and stand up for my help so god stand up for my help and fight back those who fight against me verse 3 says also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me say to my soul i am your salvation so god lord draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me and say to my soul i am your salvation lord you are my salvation so draw out every spear and stop everyone that who is pursuing me say to my soul verse 4 says let those be put to shame and brought to this honor who seek after my life let those be turned and be brought to confusion so you're going to pray that let those be put to shame every enemy of my life be put to shame and be brought to dishonor let them be dishonored and let them be put to shame in my own eyes and let those be turned back and be brought to confusion so you are praying that it may the lord confuse your enemies and may god put them to shame let them suffer shame because they want you to suffer shame so you are taking charge and you're praying that may God put them to shame. Everybody that dishonor you, may they be dishonored. And those who seek after your life, let those be turned back and be brought to confusion. So let God confuse their territories. Everywhere they are gathering to backbite you, everywhere they are gathering to bring confusion in your life, let God bring confusion to those who plot to hurt you. This is a very powerful verse. So you are declaring that anybody who is plotting hurt against you, let them be hurt by themselves and let them be put to confusion. Let God confuse their realm and let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them and let their way be dark and slippery. So let them not experience stability. Let their way be slippery so anytime they want to attack you let them experience slippery and let them fall you know and let the angel of the lord pursue them so the angel of the lord will be pursuing on your behalf you know for without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit they have hidden their net for me in a pit which they have dug without cause for my life you know they want to hurt you with no cause they want to hurt you. They want to hurt you with no cause. So you're going to pray that which they have dug without cause for my life, let it be stopped in Jesus' name. And let destruction come upon him unexpectedly. So anyone who is plotting against you wants to hurt you. Anyone who is planning for your destruction, let them be distracted and let destruction come upon them unexpectedly. And verse 11 says, Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me even for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting and prayer will return to my own heart. I passed about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his own mother. This is a very powerful verse. They have decided to reward you with evil for good. Because when they were in need, you were available for them. You humbled yourself. 
You even prayed for them. You fasted for them. In fact, you took your clothing to be their sackcloth. You know, you offered a shoulder for them to lean on. Verse 14 says, I passed about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in this case, in my adversity, they have rejoiced and they have gathered together attackers against me and I did not know it. They tore at me and I did not cease. So despite what you have done to them, you have offered a shoulder for them to lean on. You have offered your clothing as a sackcloth for them. You have prayed for them. You have fasted for them. You have taken them as your own brothers, you know, and you have mourned even on their behalf. But they have decided to gather against you and they did not know it and they have told you and you have not ceased. So you're going to pray that anyone that you helped, anyone that you offer a shoulder to lean on, and they're now fighting against you, God may scatter them. There are plans that are gathering against you that their powers may be scattered in Jesus' name. Whatever they're plotting against you may be scattered in Jesus' name. Yes, you offered them a shoulder to lean on, but in your adversity, they have decided to laugh at you. They have decided to rejoice in your pain. They have decided to gather against you. We are going to pray that may God scatter their plans and may God avenge us, avenge them on your behalf in Jesus' name. Verse 21 says, They also opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O oh Lord, do not keep silence. You're praying to God that they have laughed at you. They have said, aha, aha, let us see how she's going to fail, how she's going to be distracted. But God, you have seen it on my behalf. You have seen how they have laughed at me. You have seen how they have gathered against me. But God, we are going to pray that God, you have seen it all. And Lord, do not keep silence on them. Oh Lord, not be far from me. So God, do not leave me alone, oh Lord, but fight for me. You know, God of vengeance, fight on my behalf. And please do not keep silent because you have seen what they have done to me, to my cause, my God, and my Lord. Verse 24 says, Vindicate me, oh Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. So you're taking charge and you're telling Lord that don't allow my enemies to take charge over me. Don't allow my enemies to see my shame. Don't allow my enemies to fight me. Don't allow my enemies to win in this battle. God of vengeance fight for me in Jesus name. And verse 25 says, let them not say in their hearts, ah, so we'll have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. But we are praying that Lord, do not allow them to rejoice and say, ha, ah, we have swallowed him. So don't allow the enemy to swallow me, Lord. You are praying and you are declaring that God vindicate me, fight for me, that my enemy will not swallow me up. Verse 26 says, let them be ashamed and be brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my heart. Tell God that everyone that is fighting me, anybody who is fighting me, Lord, may you bring confusion in their territory and let them be ashamed in Jesus' name. You know, let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against me. So anyone who is exalting themselves against you, we are telling God tonight that let them be clothed with shame and dishonor. And trust me, if you pray this prayer and you declare, God is going to dishonor them. And God is going to clothe them with a garment of shame. And instead of God clothing you with shame, God will clothe them with shame. And God is going to clothe you with a garment of honor. So we are praying and we are declaring today that let them be put to shame. And let every enemy that's fighting you be brought to mutual confusion. You know what confusion does? When confusion comes into your space, you can't do anything. So may God confuse them. 
wherever they are, if they are in the sea, if they are in the water, if they are on the land, anywhere they are near you or if they are far, if they are overseas, wherever they are, may God confuse them and clothe them with the garment of shame in Jesus' name. Verse 27 says, let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause and let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all day long. So after God has fought on behalf of your enemies, after God has avenged for you, you know, after God has brought confusion into their territories, God rejoices in the prosperity of his servant. So God will rejoice in your prosperity and my tongue, your tongue shall speak of your righteousness and your praise all day. So your mouth will not lack praise, your lips will not lack praise, you will continue Praising Lord day and night because the Lord of vengeance has avenged for you, brethren. I want you to take these declarations very seriously. And anytime you wake up at midnight, pray this prayer. Pray Psalm 35. Let it be your mantle. Let this verse be continually on your lips. Take it as a weapon that you have in your hands. And trust me, those enemies will be confused. Those enemies will be scattered. Those enemies, some of them will call you to ask forgiveness. Those enemies will be put into confusion. Those enemies will be dismantled in Jesus' name. And today I want you to understand that the enemy is just around you. The enemy is in your household. Don't look far. The enemy is not far. The enemy is just around you. So it is your responsibility as a child of God to identify that enemy and fight that enemy. But you can't fight that enemy with empty hands. You need to have the tools. And today I've given you a tool which is Psalms 35. When you pray this verse, this is a game-changing verse and your life will never be the same again. There'll be a shift in your life. There'll be a turnaround in your life. There'll be all-round rest in your life and you'll experience the goodness of God, will experience the peace of God, will experience understanding from above and no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in Jesus name. Brethren, if you're watching at this video and you have not given your life to Jesus, I'm going to ask you today to give your life to Jesus and trust me, your life will never be the same again because you cannot fight the enemy when you're not born again. You need to be born again first and then put on the full arm of God and fight your enemies. So today I want you to say a short prayer. I've come as I am, Lord. Just forgive me my sins. Search my heart, you know, and forgive my sins. Wrap my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of eternity. If you have searched your heart and you have talked to God and you have said that prayer, I want you to be convinced that Jesus has forgiven you your sins and you are a free person. You are a new creature. God is about to do a new thing in your life. So identify a church near you where you worship, identify a man of God who's going to lay hands on you, he's going to pray with you, and he's going to help you to walk in the ways of God. Brethren, I hope that you have learned something uh, from this message today, and trust me, your life is not going to be the same again. And I'm going to urge you, anywhere you go, please tell someone about Jesus today and like this video and also subscribe to this content. It really supports this ministry and share this video to your network. And I'm going to see you next time in our next video. And thank you so much for being here and God bless you and goodbye.